Hello, night friends, and happy Friday. This is Omar here, and I am back with what I had promised, a review on the brand new release 2018 from Zero Tolerance, one of three knives, and the one we have in front of us today is the ZT0609, designed by R.J. Martin. There you go. Today we're not doing uh, our usual uh, review on my uh, Kershaw Discontinueds. We're skipping that today to give you this fantastic unboxing and first impressions right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. What we'll do is we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the box. I can get to that. I'm kind of excited. Now, to be fair, I'm saying I'm excited, but i got to be honest with you. I already opened this whole knife up. I've taken a look at it. I don't know anybody that actually goes on and uh, waits when they do a review to uh, actually uh, wait the day of the unboxing to actually do the review. I'm not, I'm not that person because I have knife disease. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at this knife. One quick look at it, and then we'll get back to it. So there you go, the front and the back. Let me set that aside. Uh, taking a look at the box, there's nothing special about that. They have literature inside, simple maintenance care, give you some information on the pocket clip, how to use it, how to open and fold the knife. So there you go, there's the box. Also comes with the plastic. You guys have seen all this before, nothing spectacular about that. So let's get to the knife. So what I want to do first, I'm going to go ahead and do a tell you the stats on this knife, which I have gotten off the internet, off of Knife Center. So let's take a look at that information, and then we'll get back to the knife. So the specs on the knife uh, for the ZT0609, the blade length on this knife is 3.4 inches. The closed length on this knife is 4.25. The overall length is 7.4 inches. The blade material is CPM's 20 CV stainless steel. The blade thickness is 0121. It's a drop point blade with a two tone finish. And it is a bronze anodized titanium scales. It's a frame lock. It also has KVT ball bearing system with the pocket clip, which is tip up right and left carry, and a weight of 3.3 ounces. It is designed by RJ and Matt Martin, and it's made in the USA. So let's take a look at this knife. As you can see, it is a fairly medium sized, small to medium sized knife. And to make it a little bit more clearer, why don't we go ahead and put the knife up against some other knives so we can see size comparison. Let's go ahead and compare it to a knife that's similar in size, the Spartaco Mantra. There you go. And how about the Zero Tolerance 801? 0801, which is a much larger knife. So this knife here is 3.5 inches, and the ZT0609 is 3.4 inches in blade length. Just to give you a little better idea, how about we put it up against another Zero Tolerance knife, a smaller one, the only small knife that Zero Tolerance actually has, which is the ZT0609. There you go. So as I said before, as you can see, it is between a large and small knife, making it sort of a medium knife. For further explanation, let's put it up against my favorite all-time knife, one of my all-time favorites, the Spyderco Swish Bowie. Now, as you can see, this knife, the Spyderco Swish Bowie, is exactly lengthwise the same exact size as the ZT-0. 609 and I'll even show that to you because if I take this knife and put it right on top of the Spyderco Swish Bowie You'll notice the Spyderco Swish Bowie almost completely disappears Because they are the same size so what we're saying here is that 
Yes, it is a small knife, but it's actually a medium knife that is very slim. It's a slim knife, which is kind of nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual details of the knife. One thing you're going to notice when you see this knife as it stands out completely is that see-through pivot or that pivotless pivot, whichever way you want to look at it. You can actually see right through it. There's my hand right there. This is a flipper knife. This knife has very smooth action. I also want to say that the knife has zero blade play, which stands to its name. There's no blade play there, folks. Zero tolerance. Okay, very nice. Another thing that stands out on this knife, other than the pivotless pivot, is the 3D machining they have on the knife. Look at that. Really beautiful on both the front and the back. This is a frame lock knife, as you can see. And again, the knife does have very smooth action. This knife has not been oiled or anything, and right out of the box, it's super smooth. I don't have any problems with it. Nice tight tolerances on this knife. Taking a look at the back, we can see that there are two standoffs. The standoffs on this knife are stainless, unlike the, the uh, scales, which are titanium. The standoffs on the knife are, are stainless steel. That was provided to me by uh, Christine over there at Kai or Kershaw. So thanks a lot, Christine, for answering my question. I do appreciate that. And there's your pocket clip. One of the things that I like about the pocket clip is that it is not it does not get in the way of the uh, of the of the frame lock there, the lock bar there. You can actually have access to that. Um, one of the challenges of owning a frame lock knife is you have to kind of be careful the way you hold the knife. You don't want to hold it too tightly because then the knife will not open. And they usually position the pocket clip so that you know how to open the knife when you get it. As you can see, your middle finger would go right by the pocket clip, away from the frame lock, and then you'll be able to get that nice smooth action. After a while, you get used to it, so that's kind of nice. Looking at the, the drop point blade on this knife, which is really just gorgeous, uh, it is a two-tone finish, satin as you can see right up on the top over there and down there two-tone but then right here on the flats where you see zt okay that's a stone wash finish on both the front and the back of the knife so there you go another thing i want to mention about this knife which i absolutely love and i have nothing against companies having uh writing on the real estate of their knives but on this particular knife uh the writing is small and i love that it doesn't it's kind of not invisible, but it's not, it doesn't like shoot out at you like on all the other knives. Even on the pocket clip, the writing is somewhat small, but on the uh, on this knife up there, there's a, some of the writing on there. There's the model number, Kai USA, CPM 20 CV, and I got a low serial number, as you can see, right there on the knife. So that's a, another great thing. Folks, the 3D machining on this is just absolutely elegant in every way, shape, or form. The knife also feels incredibly good in the hand. I really love how this feels. There is some jimping on the knife, which is very, very nice. Um, some of the details they did on this knife are just absolutely amazing. I love it. First of all, the jimping on the knife is not aggressive. Uh, it's sort of smooth, but it works. It's kind of funny to say that because it, it does work. Your thumb knows that there's jimping there. It grabs it there, so that's very helpful. But it's not aggressive to where it actually hurts your hand when you you, you use it. And uh, it just feels really good. If I have anything negative about this knife to say, which isn't even really negative, it just depends on the size of your hand. Because I have a medium size, small hand, uh, the thumb ramp position doesn't work for me. It's all the way up here, so it doesn't feel comfortable. As you can see, my thumb goes all the way up there. When I'm using some kind of task on that, it doesn't feel like fantastic to me the way that feels. I don't, I don't like that. It doesn't feel right to me. It feels like my thumb wants to be down here, and yet they've made the ramp go up there. So that doesn't work for me. But it might work for you.
Uh, the knife, uh, you can get all four fingers on the knife. As you can see, my hand fits the whole, the whole entire knife. There's nothing hanging off on the blade, on the sorry, on the handle. So that fits really well. It's like it's almost molded to my hand, which I love. For a uh, a titanium knife, it's fairly light, and obviously it's because it's an open construction with just two standoffs there. So that makes it kind of nice and light. Again, the action just blows me away on this little knife here. I really, really love that. Another detail on this knife that you can see is that it's chamfered up here on the blade. Now, usually when you see knives that are chamfered like this, you know, with the it's not it's not angled or smooth. Usually, what you get, I'll put this knife down here for a second. Usually, what you get is. Uh, something like this with ZT where it's all square and there's no special angles or anything. It's just a square straight all the way across on the ZT0801. But here on this knife, it's chamfered and angled for comfort, as you can see, which is why the thumb ramp supposedly works really well. It's got this really nice looking swedge here. When you catch the lighting, it looks really nice up there and also on the back. Very, very nice. The entire knife just works really, really well. Really beautiful design on that. I love how they have the two fingers, you know, that, that kind of just fits perfectly. Sometimes you get a titanium knife and the whole thing is flat. Uh, you know, this actually, it's, they, they made it so it's like molded to your hand. So that I love. So why don't we go ahead and test the blade. Let's do some uh, paper cuts. One second. Let's go ahead and get some paper, do some paper cut tests, which I always love to do. So let's take a look at that. Oh my God, that is just, look at this, slices right through, CV20 steel, no problems, what so ever. It's kind of tearing because that's not the blade, folks, that's me. So that is just fantastic. No problems at all in the paper cut part of the of the uh, review let's take a look at that front and back yeah like I said there are there's nothing on this knife negative that I can say about this knife uh, it's got really nice smooth action. I love the pivotless pivot. I love the 3D machining. I'm sure you guys will too. I love that it is a frame lock. I also love that it's molded to my hand when I hold it. My hand automatically knows how it feels. There's no hot spots on this either. You do not feel the pocket clip digging into your hand. That's not happening. It's very, very comfortable every way. The only thing that I've actually talked about this knife that I didn't like was that thumb ramp being all the way up there. And again, if you have a larger hand, that's probably not going to be a problem for you. Finally, let's take a look because like I said, I don't know if I did this already, but I'm going to do it again anyway. Like I said, the knife requires a special tool, which is not yet available, but I'm sure ZT is going to make it available soon. Um, I went to the website and I saw it was said coming soon, which is the um, uh, the pivot tool, which is held together by magnets. So one thing you're gonna have to look at that if this knife is is the knife centered. How about yeah? Look at that. Mine's dead center. Absolutely dead center. I'm assuming this is just a guess, but I'm assuming that uh, Kai or Zero Tolerance did know that the. Uh, the pivot tool would not be available immediately, so I'm sure they probably had to pay extra special attention to the centering of these knives. I'm actually currently waiting for a knife to come back to be centered. 
Um, and I'm sure they're not going to disappoint because they do fantastic work down there at Zero Tolerance. I already sent them off a night before, and and they uh, did some work on it for me, and I'm very happy with it. But yeah, that knife is dead center. So, and even if you're if you get yours in your box and it is off center, I'm sure if you took it to to zero tolerance or mailed it back to zero tolerance with their limited lifetime warranty, you're not going to have a problem with them uh, actually servicing that for you. This is a very beautiful and elegant everyday carry knife, and there you have it. The ZT0609, designed by R.J. Martin. An elegant folder. Definitely one that I highly recommend. I have no qualms about anything on this knife. I wouldn't even say anything more other than go down to your local store or hurry up and get online after you watch my video and just get the knife. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get this guy. I got to be honest with you. So there you have it. The ZT0609. Designed by RJ Martin. And again, this is Omar, the knife shark guy. If you like what you see, please click down on my channel down there below. Click like and subscribe. And please leave a comment. I can't say that enough. Uh, I'm glad you guys watch my videos, but I would love to get your reactions on uh, my videos and what you guys think. Uh, I am currently accepting uh, some criticisms on my videos. It's probably going to hurt, but I'm sure you guys will be kind. Uh, I am new at this, and I'd like to get better at it. Uh, the newest thing I've actually done is I've actually stopped the camera from shaking because I got myself a, a special stand to hold my phone while I do these these uh, reviews. So please be kind when you leave when you leave your comments. I would appreciate that. There you go. And once again, zero tolerance zero six zero nine designed by R J Martin. And this is Omar, the Knife Shark Guy. Please leave your comments below. Click like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Have fun knife hunting, everybody. Have a good day.